Hello everybody, Lurks here, welcome to my channel and today it's how to install a Velux window blind in your Velux window. And this is the Velux window here in a loft conversion and as you can see from this one, they can see straight across to the neighbour's house, so they just want a bit of privacy. Now before you order your Velux window blind, you need to find out what size your window is. So what you do is just open up your Velux window and if it's in good condition still, you should be able to see the window code here. And this particular window is GHLC04. And I'm on a well-known popular auction site here and I'm just going to select that particular model number. So make sure you order the correct size code. And with the miracle of video editing, it's already arrived. <laughs> And let's take a look inside. Got the instructions. Nah, don't need that. We've got some brackets which actually hold the Velux window blind on. Now we may not need those. We've got some screws here. And this is the actual roller blind inside this self-contained unit here. And we've got these runners here, which the window blind slides up and down inside the grooves. And before you start on any how-to DIY, make sure you have a lovely cup of tea. Oh. On most modern Velux windows, you'll find that the brackets are already fitted on the window frame, so you don't need to install the brackets that they give you. Now these are the brackets that they supply you with just in case they aren't on your window frames and I'll just quickly show you how to fit these. I'm not going to have to do them for this particular video but I'll show you how these actually fit. So what you do is you just line them up against the hardwood frame at the top. Just push it in as far as it will go. And then what you do is you just screw it down nice and tight. I'm not going to screw this one all the way in. Once you've screwed it in nice and tight, you literally just snap this measuring device off and that bracket is then in place. Now just to prove that the one that is already in the Velux window is the correct one, I'll just lay it over the top and you can see that it's going to be in exactly the same position. Right, let's get cracking because those brackets are already installed. This is the roller blind unit here. And these are the plastic brackets which are already on this window. And what you're doing is you're just literally sliding it in with the grooves on each side of this unit and just sliding it in parallel and just pushing it home nice and gently. Now it should go in very easily. Don't try and force it. Make sure it's nice and parallel, nice and straight. This is good, it's the correct model, it fits straight in. Now take two of the supplied screws what I'm going to do now is just offer the unit back up onto those brackets. And what you do is you just pull out the bottom roller blind unit and it literally just flips out towards you. Now you must do this to get access to the small black bracket where you're going to screw it into the hardwood on the side of the Velux frame. And there is the hole there and you've got exactly the same one on the other side. Now in the instructions it says that you just literally screw it straight into the hardwood frame. Now in my experience this is a really difficult procedure. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to offer the screw into there and just turn it with my fingers just to make a bit of a scratch so I know where the hole is going to be. And then I'm going to do that exactly the same on the other side. And what I'm going to do then is just use a drill with a really small wooden drill bit the smallest one that you can get, which is smaller than the screw that you're going to be using. And I'm just going to drill a pilot hole into each one of these because it's so much easier to screw in if you've already got a pilot hole. And also screwing into hardwood frame is very difficult and you've always got the danger that it might split the wood. So I recommend drilling a small pilot hole. Make sure that the drill bit is nice and level, you don't want to go in at an angle. I'm just going to off the unit back up, slide it into the brackets, flip that bottom bit out again and then get one of the screws into that pilot hole just by using my thumb and finger just so it rests in there. Then take your screwdriver 
and just get a good few turns on this. Now I'm not going to screw it all the way down because I'm going to go onto the other side and do exactly the same with the other side before I screw it in completely. Now as I mentioned earlier I've already drilled the pilot hole for this one so I'm going to screw in the screw with my thumb and finger again and then take the screwdriver and just start screwing that one in as well. And there's a link above now about how to clean your UPVC window frames so they stay clean. That is the left side screwed down nice and tight. Let's go back to the right hand side. I'm just going to screw this one down. Can you hold this down? So that unit is now in a secure position. And all we need to do now is put the runners on each side. So we've got a left and a right runner here. And this is left and right as you're facing the window. Now the right hand runner is on the right hand side here. But what you do is you just flip it round so it is this way round. And what you're doing is you're just sliding it up into the unit and that bracket there on the top should just clip over the top there. It might take a little bit of wiggling. Again, don't try and force it. And then the runner should just line up against the window frame on the inside and it should be nice and flush. This one is not quite in, so it's just going to take a bit more of a wiggle at the top. There we go, that's released it. Look at that, that's now nice and flush against the frame of the VLUX window. And what we've got here is we've got a screw hole at the top. And we've also got a screw hole at the bottom. Again, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to screw straight into these because I'm frightened that it will split the wood. So I'm going to take my drill. This is a variable drill with the small wooden drill bit and just drill a pilot hole at the top and the bottom. That's the top one done. And now the one at the bottom. Make sure this is nice and straight and parallel and it's going directly inwards. You don't want to do that at an angle. Okay, I've got the screws in with my fingers. Now take your screwdriver and just screw that all the way home, the top one and the bottom one. Whilst I'm doing that, there's a link above now about how to defrost your freezer in under 15 minutes. Let's just speed this footage up. That is those two screws on the runners, nice and tight. Now what you need to do is do exactly the same on the other side. Now I'm not going to film all this and show you that because it's exactly the same, it's absolutely identical. And this is five minutes later when I've got the left side on as well. And this Velux window blind is now fitted. And that is looking really nice, it's all nice and flush with the hardwood frame, looking really nice. So what we do now is we just test the blind, make sure it works on the runner system. So to pull it down, just push it in slightly. And then when you release it, it's got these rubber grips and it just stops in the position that you let it go. So I've got it shut all the way down here. Now to release it, just push it in gently and it's spring loaded so it automatically just starts going back up again. And to stop it at any position, just release your fingers and it just stops where you release it. Great stuff. That is looking absolutely fabulous. And that's been a great DIY job because I only managed to cut myself once. If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here so you don't miss more videos on how to save you time and money. There's also some other videos around the edges of the screen here. If any of those are useful to you, then you can select those now. Thank you for visiting my channel, everyone. I really, really appreciate it.